What's good, y'all? Welcome back. This is Izzy, aka Kanye Z, and we're back with another review for Invented Kicks. And this week, fresh off the press, you can see it's the Air Jordan 5 Top 3 colorway. So we're going to get right into these. But before we do, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the content you get today. And also hit that subscription button below so you can stay in tune with our content. So as soon as we get it, you guys got it, all right? Now, without further ado, as we always do, Let's get right into it, y'all. Wow, there you guys go, all right? So once again, as previously mentioned, the Air Jordan 5 in that top three colorway. And for those of you who don't know, the top three colorways are basically gonna come from the black metallic fives as well as the black tongue fire red fives and then finally the grape fives um, that all released back in 1990. And so as far as the black metallics, you can see that in, on the entire upper, which is all gonna be done in that kind of Durabuck, new buck. Uh, very similar to what you'll find on Black Metallic 5s throughout the years, except for the, the garbage joints that released in 2011. And so I just had to throw the white laces in there because I just think it brings the shoe to life. It looks so much more lively and better and well-balanced than, you know, as you can see on my left here, the black pair. And for those of you who don't know, you know, a lot of my viewers who may be on the younger side, um, Jordan definitely wore his black metallics with some, some white laces. So that definitely also gives it a bit of that OG flair. And the white laces, in my opinion, I think it brings out the Nike Air branding on the back, which we know and love, um, which comes in white directly from the black metallics as well. And I think it just helps it pop very nicely. And like I said, gives it a real OG flair and a bounce to these. Now, aside from that, you know, a lot of people I know were kind of expecting something differently. Probably were expecting them to use a different fire red five as a top, you know, three color or just to have more balance. The thing I think that stands out the most is the fact that they slap this tongue, not only on both shoes, but just the grape tongue. I feel like it just didn't work with the black, you know, uppers. Kind of reminded me of the black grapes that they released a while back. I hated those, by the way. I know a lot of people kind of thought they, they were dope, but for me, I wasn't really feeling them. And that's probably why I don't like the grape tongue in there. I think they should have used the um, reflective tongue either from the Fire Red Fives or the Black Metallic Fives. I think it would have looked so much better, especially to have two tongues, you know. And this is, you know, Jordan Brand loves to talk about how this shoe is like, a nod back to Fresh Prince and they, they made him, you know, like two, three freaking colorways of this shoe. And now you have a chance to give people, you know, two different tongues the way he wore it. You know, there's a pic with him wearing both the Fire Red Fives and the Black Metallic Fives. I don't know how they missed that opportunity to have a Black Metallic Five tongue, which would have been the same thing as a Reflective Fire Red tongue. It would have still fit the top three scenario. For some reason, they somehow missed that, but whatever. That I think would have made it better in, in my point of view. You know, what I love, I think most about this release is the fact that it's going back to like what a five looks like. So the, the black metallic fives from 2016, those joints were like super bulky and big and just lumpy and doofy. And you know, well, they weren't really doofy, but they were lumpy as hell and they didn't even fit right. These fit true to size. These fit very much just like the Fire Red Fives that just dropped in May. So, you know, I was very happy to see that because the sizing has been all jacked with fives. They're supposed to be one of those shoes that always fits true and they just didn't. So now we're finally getting back to that. You know, they're soft. The upper on these is is not super duper stiff like the 2016 is. The 2016, I don't think they're incredibly stiff as much as, like I said, they're just lumpy and like overly padded the way fives historically were not, you know. So um, with these... These are padded a lot, but like I said, just really a lot more softer than the 2016 version. And it just, the shape is there. Everything that I think, you know, I would have liked to see on OG fives is here with this shoe. So uh, that's one of the things that I like in terms of how they are built and made, they killed it. All right, now, once you throw the, the white laces in these, psh, crazy fresh. And I, I feel like at that point, like I just fell in love with them, been staring at these all weekend. That's pretty much it. You know, like I said, couldn't wait to get into these. So let's get into the close-ups as we normally do with these and see what the materials and all that good stuff are, is looking like, all right? So here we go, y'all. All right, y'all, so getting directly into it. The uppers, as I mentioned before, are gonna be entirely composed of a synthetic Durabuck, which is pretty much the same, if not the exact same materials that you'll find on 2019's infrared sixes and black cement fours. Um, and so the materials on these, very, very nice, like I mentioned earlier. I don't know if it's because they're new or whatever, but it's extremely soft and feels very nice to touch. It's getting very similar and close to what we used to see 
on four fives and sixes when they were released in the early to mid 2000s so you know i definitely think that they did a good job in terms of the uppers used on these to represent the black metallics yeah. now speaking of the black metallics you do have the um shark teeth here on the midsole which features the metallic hit and that's something that's reminiscent and representative of the black metallic as well now for the rest of the midsole, it basically is just going to be entirely done in fire red as well as black, which wraps around the heel and goes all the way into the medial side of the shoe. The only other thing that you'll see for fire red five in terms of this shoe is going to be the stitching on the heel counter there, which you'll find on the medial sides of the shoe. Now, if we look at the back of the shoe, we can finally see that it still has that OG Nike Air branding, which just had to happen because these are based on, you know, three top OG colorways. And in this case, it's going to be all white stitching, which is exactly what you find on black metallic fives. And so I thought that that was dope and perfect. Now, as we move to the tongue of the shoe, it does feature the Grape Fives tongue. And that's the only thing that you're going to find on this shoe from the Grape Five colorway. Now, behind the tongue, you will also see that it says Fire Red Metallic, which is for metallic silver. And then finally, Grape, upside down in that OG text from 1990, um, which is something that they used to have on the back of tongues. Well, they still have them on the back of Jordan 5 tongues, but back in 1990, the OGs all had a tag back there that said Air Jordan upside down. And so this time what they did was they incorporated all three colors. I'm not mad at that. I think that's a dope kind of, um, you know, twist on the back of the tongue there. Now, as far as the sole goes, the sole is gonna feature the black toe cap, which is from the black metallics, as well as an aqua jump man. And I'm eating my own words right now because I did say that, you know, the tongue was the only place that they featured the grape colorway. And it does have an aqua jump man on the bottom. So that's actually the second place. And then finally, you have the night branding on the bottom as well. And that's entirely done in fire red for that entire section. So I guess you even have, you know, the top three uh, featured on the bottom, which is kind of nice. Now, other than that, I got to say I'm pleasantly surprised by these, you know, fresh out the box the construction of materials and just everything, the way they did these. I think, like I said before, the only thing I would have changed is probably one of the tongues and made them the fire red or the black metallic tongues. But other than that, man, they killed these. I'm definitely excited about this pair and I definitely think it's, it's worth a cop. All right, y'all, so that pretty much wraps it up in terms of the build and the construction for the Jordan 5 Top 3s and getting to see where the accented pieces and the colorways and all that stuff came together and where they came from. And so hopefully that gives you guys a better understanding and an idea of how these are made and what the materials are and all that good stuff. Now, in terms of sizing, like I said before earlier in the video, these do fit true to size, so I would say stick with your true size and you'll be good to go. These fit very much like the Jordan 5s that just released in May. I'm talking about the fire red 5s with the reflective tongue. So go with your same size you got in those. If you've ever gotten a Jordan 6 or a Jordan 7, I would say even go with your size in those because these fit very much so, just like those do. Now, other than that, in terms of sizing, well, not really sizing, but fit, these joints are crazy comfortable, fresh out the box, pulling them out. I was like, Damn! I was thoroughly surprised that these fit that comfortable because not a lot of, you know, retros, particularly like the five, sixes, they usually feel like bricks under the foot. But these joints right here, man, I don't know what they did, but they fit really good. And you guys are going to be impressed. Shoe with this technology from 1990, fresh out the box, immediate comfort wearing them. You're going to love these, y'all. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. So thanks for kicking it with your boy, Kanyezy. Now, as usual, you can follow us on Instagram. You can follow myself at Kanyezy, K-A-N-Y-I-Z-Z-Y. -Z -Z and you can follow Invented Kicks as well at Invented Kicks. All right, so give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the content today. And that's it in terms of the review of these guys, all right? So until next time.